add styles to the HTML in an email using CSS. We use CSS, or cascading style sheets, to add styles and formatting to HTML. There are three ways you can add CSS to HTML. First, you can use an external style sheet. Here, the CSS is in a separate file and is referenced in the HTML with a link tag like this. This is useful if you've got lots of different HTML files, as you can change styles for all of them by changing the CSS in just one place. And it's also faster as the browser will save the style sheets in its cache instead of downloading the styles for each page. As for emails though, most email clients block links to external style sheets. So this isn't a good way to add styles to an email. The second way to add CSS to HTML is to use embedded styles. These are similar to external styles in that broad categories of styles are controlled in a single place. The CSS is declared in a style block, normally in the head section of the HTML. Unfortunately, using CSS like this is not supported in all email clients. For example, Gmail doesn't support embedded styles at all. So this isn't a good option either. The third way is to apply inline styles. These are applied directly to HTML elements using the style attribute. The downside to this is it can be a bit time consuming and challenging to manage, but using this method is the safest way to make sure your email looks as you intended when the recipient views the email. So let's have a look at an example. So here in the body line, I've added some inline CSS styles to the HTML elements. So let's send this message and see how it looks in the email client. So we'll run the script in the browser, which will send the message. And here we have the message, which contains some CSS styling, the header in italic and the text using a couple of different colors. So although it's not the easiest way to add styles, using inline CSS is by far the safest method if you want your email to look as you intended in as many email clients as possible.